Hi everyone, this is Lily's Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the collective. So this is about our new moon in Pisces that we have today. So um, let's do, we'll do four piles, okay? So I'm going to shuffle out some colours. Feel free to choose more than one pile, okay? Um, you know, and you don't have to be a Pisces to take part in this reading. All right, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. You got to take what does and leave what doesn't. Okay, so pile one, you've got Ruby. Pile two, you've got Pearl. Pile three, you've got Gray. And pile four, you've got Magenta. Okay, so let's see. All right, so this reading is gonna be timestamped in the description box below. You can also follow me on Instagram as well, where I do live readings there too. All right, but so far, let's go. Let's start with part one. So we have Ruby. So let's have a little read. <clears throat> so we've got Rejuvenate Your Body. Ruby is a color of uh, rejuvenation and strength, increasing your stamina and filling you up with energy and enthusiasm for life. It is a color for prosperity, courage, achievement, and motivation. Ruby also encourages shy people to come out of their shell by building confidence. Use Ruby light to feel truly alive and dynamic. Nice. <clears throat> so yeah, guys, maybe you just need to step out of your comfort zone a little bit more, push yourself a little bit more. You need a bit more sort of confidence. Okay, Ruby's your color. All right, so let's see what messages do we have for par one. This is new moon in Pisces. I kind of feel like, you know, this is a bit, um, I'm feeling a bit sort of romantic with this pile, okay? But a little hesitant about the romance. <laughs> All right, pile one. Also the number eight could mean something to you as well. Yeah, we've got a personal issue reaches resolution. So this is a full moon in Cancer. So you could also be a cancer here. Ooh, let's have a look. All right, let's go to, where do I want? This. <clears throat> yeah, definitely sensing some sort of hesitancy towards some romance, okay? And I feel like, guys, this could be new and old coming back. So one coming back, sorry, and a new one coming in. All right, part one. Full moon in, sorry, new moon in Pisces. Messages for pile one. Okay. Yes, we've got playful. Yeah, I definitely think that you are going to be bringing out your playful side over the next few weeks, okay? Maybe you've been feeling it already. Maybe someone's making you feel, you know... Oh, happy inside and you're like ooh. could be a bit of your flirty side you know is is because is is coming out sorry oh we got deceit yes okay and we've got individuality so you guys are definitely for me you guys are single here all right and I think what it is the hesitancy you have is that you don't trust people you don't trust what they say you're just like mm -mm. got Capricorn energy here so you know obviously you've been lied to in the past so maybe even for some of you, you're just happy to have these playful moments with people and then keep it moving, you know? So it's almost like whatever's coming up now is saying, look, you got to face your fears, okay? Because we're bringing you something real. Okay. Part one, new moon in Pisces. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Sagittarius here. Oh, we've got cornucopia, we've got the sun, we've got Leo energy here, and we've got the thinking woman. Yeah, so I think you guys really have just been focused on yourselves, okay, healing your heart. Um, I think even helping others heal around you just by like with your energy, your advice, how kind you are to others. Um, I think a lot of you are really good with children or you're around a lot of small children right now. There's a lot of people that definitely look up to you, that take your advice on board. 
okay, that um, I definitely think you're very sociable as well. People love to be out with you, dancing with you, singing with you, whatever it is you guys do. I feel like you're, you're building up this sort of abundance around you, you know. And it's good, it's all good, it's all positive. You know, I feel like the negative forces that try to enter your circles are, are, are sort of kept at bay almost, like they can't penetrate, you know, <clears throat> everything you've built and sort of the happiness that you're constructing for yourself. So I think you guys really have just been putting yourself first, okay? Guys, it, it also, you know, know who you are and where you are in this reading. If you're not doing that, but you've been feeling lately like this is the space you're supposed to get to, then, this is where you're at. Follow this reading, okay? Because they're encouraging you to get to this place right here. I definitely think you guys as well, you, you could be um, doing your thing on social media as well. So you're building this strong online community. You could be working in music. All right, power one, new... New moon in Pisces, it is new moon in Pisces. Got five of pentacles, we've got the Empress, Libra, Taurus energy here. Taurus came out, Hierophant, four of cups. Yeah, I think, you know what, you were really, you got the tower, got Scorpio energy. Yeah, I think a lot of you were probably just lied to or recently you found out about somebody who was telling you lies. I don't know, this could have been through social media, you could have got text messages, things like that. Got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, for some of you, this person was married, okay, or they definitely were in a committed relationship with someone. Um, and I still feel like this person is trying to sort of come back into your head, but you're over it. You're just like, mm, no, I'm good, okay? I'm, I'm okay, thanks. <laughs> and they're like, hey! I'm over here. <laughs> You're like, I, I can't hear you anymore. So I think it's really upsetting this other person, okay, that you're not really taking their calls anymore. You're not messaging them back. We've got the emperor and we've got tempest. Yeah, so it's almost like maybe for some of you, you know, you might have been waiting for this person to change or tell you how they really feel about you, but they haven't done that. We've got Aries energy, Sagittarius energy here. And then we've just got this emperor. He's like literally come out of nowhere. All right. And he's balanced. He's stable. All right. He likes to have his own space as well. He likes his own peace. He's a boss. You know, the emperor, you know, has found the empress. Okay, and I think this is probably what is scaring you. Because maybe as well, this situation is going to get out of control with the ex. Because <laughs> they don't like the fact that you're sort of shutting them out, you know. But we've got Aquarius energy, we've got wish fulfillment. I feel like for a lot of you, you guys, and we've got nine of pentacles, yeah. So there's definitely something explosive happening in your career soon as well, especially within the next three weeks for you guys, okay. Whatever you guys have been wishing for, praying for, whatever it is, Okay, there's something big coming through justice, as I said that. Got Libra energy here. So yeah, and then look, we got this Capricorn energy, this devil energy, okay, still just trying to constantly pull you back. I kind of feel like for a lot of you, this person isn't going anywhere. There's nothing they can really do about their current situation, but they ain't going nowhere. They don't really want to see you go and be with anyone else. But there's nothing they can really do about it. <laughs> that's, that's all it is. All right, so you guys, I feel like you guys are just focusing on yourself, on your body, on your health, on your wealth. Okay, this is mind, body, and spirit. Okay, so make sure, you know, you're, you're tuning into all of those. Okay, some of you have been thinking about going to the gym, working out. They're saying good. For, for those of you who have already started, they're like, great, keep going. Something could come out of that in the future as well, they are saying. So keep going. Okay, part one. New moon in Pisces. We got leap of faith, believe in yourself, listen to your heart, do what gives you joy. That's Aries energy as well. We've got, you can do anything right now. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people. Why? Because you're passionate, charming, brilliant, and independent. And that's what I was saying about you guys earlier as well. Like, 
you know, you are sociable, you are enjoying that side of yourself. People love you, people, you know, are naturally attracted to you. And then we've got, it will all be better if you just make a decision. Over analyzing a problem, find a compromise. Let's look at that. Two unicorns coming together. So I definitely feel like with you guys, you have a choice because you could still mess with this person that can't give you what you need and deserve just yet, okay? Or you could completely get rid of them and, well, a lot of you have, but you know, you could completely get rid of them and see what happens with this new person. But either way, this is gonna reach a resolution, okay? All right, part one, new moon in Pisces. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, we got not today. I like you. So yeah, I think a lot of you have just been so focused on work and everything that you're just like focused on that and not dealing with people that are messaging you saying I like you or blah, blah, blah. But that's about to change. Okay. Over the next few weeks, you're going to be enjoying a bit of that. We've got engagement ring. We've got karmic relationship girl with a snake. And I think that's your concern that... Because you know you've got a kind, a kind, loving heart, right? You're scared that people are gonna, or guys will naturally take advantage of you, or women, okay? But at the end of the day, you're not the same person you were before. You are way more focused and intentional with your work and what you're doing. So you're not really gonna jeopardize that for sort of deceitful, fast player type energies, okay? So you're able to step out of these karmic relationships. Yeah, I definitely feel like you've been feeling this heartbreak, this sad sadness, you know? Because you do still love this person. But look, it needs to take time, takes time to heal. And endings bring new beginnings. So for some of you, look, you never know. But yeah, I just feel like this person has so many other options and are probably just scared of giving them up. I think this, this is a codependent player. I thought they all are, I guess, aren't they? You know, they've got two or three and they need them. They're part of their lifelines to function every day. So, it, yeah, it's difficult <laughs> for this person to fight themselves, okay? But you have this other person who's just like so intentional with you, you know? And it's just like, okay, I'm going to date you and do this right because I want to win. <laughs> I want this person. This person needs to come off the market immediately. And that's what this new person coming in is doing. All right, part one, new moon in Pisces. We got wedding, we got deception, and we got romantic feelings, and we got codependency. So yeah, you've got romantic feelings. They're worth exploring, okay? You know, I don't feel like this new person is wearing a mask, but you're worried. So that's why you're a little bit hesitant. And you've got this codependent person who, like I said earlier, is more than likely married. Okay, but they want to come and speak to you and have a heart to heart conversation with you. Okay, but you'll find that the chemistry is still there between the two of you. So that's what's probably going to throw you a bit off balance. And yeah, they are a soulmate too. More likely, this is your twin, by the way. All right, part one. I hope you enjoyed this. Should I read you something? I don't know. Let me see. I'll just move on, I think. Part one, new moon in Pisces. With it, we've got within the next few months. I definitely feel like with you guys, because of this romance that is coming in, I think within the next few months, you're going to be in a serious dating relationship with somebody okay yes and i definitely feel like it's going to heat up with a few other energies as well i'm sensing around you too maybe you've just been gently gently talking to some other people but even they're going to step up their game as well oh power one <laughs> get ready but i think you are and i think there's something's going to switch and you're just going to start enjoying it you're going to be like yeah okay i'm free for dinner on that day i'm free for dinner on that day and you're just going to have fun. Okay. All right. Hope you enjoyed that reading, guys. Take care and I'll see you soon. So now we're going to move on to pile two. You had pearl. Pearl. So let's see. We've got, oh, connect to the divine. Okay, guys. I need you to plug in a little bit more. Let's have a look, darlings. 
All right, we got pearl is special shade of white that calms, purifies, and promotes faith. It allows you to flow with life and connect to your divine nature. The color of personal integrity, truth, and loyalty. Pearl brings clarity, peace, and harmony into your life. To strengthen your connection to the divine, visualize pearly lights. Wow. Okay, this is nice. I definitely think you guys need to feel like a bit more peace and serenity around you. Okay, something sort of, I don't know, I feel like maybe even your anxiety, if you guys have to suffer with a lot of anxiety, it's been triggered. All right, pal two. New moon in Pisces, not gonna resonate with everyone. Take what does and leave what doesn't for the collective. Wow, we got you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. Yeah, so you guys are definitely panicking. You're definitely worrying. Okay, it could definitely be with what's going on in the world right now. Okay. And it could also just be the fact that some of you are like going through something and you need to separate from people around you and you're worried that you're usually their rock. Are they going to be able to handle you kind of taking that distance or that break from them while you gather yourself and get your mental health together? You know, you worry a lot about everybody else that, you know, they're saying, look, it's OK to worry about you. It's important. You know, your guides are worrying about you. So they also want you to worry about yourself, too. Oh, no. Ugh. It's OK. I hope my hair is not bothering the microphone. All right. All right, pile two. New moon in Pisces messages for pile two. Yeah, high priestess of spirit. Yeah, I definitely think there's a lot of energies around you that are very draining and very heavy on you. And I don't think you're realizing how much of this you're actually absorbing. Especially if you're everybody's agony on, okay, and people are always constantly coming to you about problems, even in the workplace, or people just kind of expect you to drop what you're doing and just support them, which you actually, you don't mind, you don't mind, you love them, you want to help everybody, right? But there's a lot of people that are relying on you to the point where it's kind of crushing you, you're not able to do things for yourself, all right? Right now they're saying, look, this is time for you to take a step back and look at your own self-worth. Okay, you can't run yourself into the ground for other people. Everybody is going to be fine, okay? If you wasn't here, what would they do? They'd get on with it. <clears throat> we got chaos. You know, I think that your, your surroundings, not all of you take it as it resonates, some of you are surrounding yourselves with people who just have drama all the time. And then what happens in the end? That drama comes your way. So guess what? The universe is sending around another situation to teach you a lesson, okay? Or to wake you up, more than likely. Yeah, we've got some honesty coming through. All right, I definitely feel part two. You're going to see um, the true colours of a lot of people around you as well. That's for sure, yeah. And then I think here come the choices that you're going to need to make. Because some of you might just need to leave where you're at and you're worried about leaving everybody, but, you know, if it's too toxic or it's, it's draining, it's damaging your mental health, it's making you more severely depressed, then something's got to give, hasn't it? All right, pile two, new moon in Pisces, messages for pile two. Yeah, we got judgment. So this situation is back for you to make a decision, okay? You could actually make a choice right now, but you're gonna need to stick to it and you're gonna need to stand in it, okay? Stand in your truth. We've got nine of cups. We've got three of pentacles. Yeah, because you know, we've got knight of swords as well. You know what, some of you, this is involving like a job offer or something like, or you wanna go work at another, sorry, well, work at another school or travel at, study at another school. Okay, and you're getting this communication and it's like, oh my gosh, like I get to do this, but I'm gonna have to leave my family behind. These people rely on me. They're like, uh-uh, you better go, look. 
he just run. He's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, I just think there's a lot of guilt here, but you're going to have to do what it do. Okay, yeah, we've got eight of pentacles. Some of you, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. We've got two of cups and we've got three of swords, okay? Because what it is, is maybe you guys have been waiting on an offer from someone who recently broke your heart, okay? This person could have started a family with someone else in the past. But you're worried because this person probably started communicating with you or if they haven't, they're about to. For some of you, a, day, a child was hidden from you. Yeah, I've got two of pentacles. This person was definitely trying to juggle you. Yeah, for some of you, they, they just had hidden children in different places, okay? That's not for all of you, okay? I even think one child went into care, went to social services, went into care, and he had to find the child. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Because that's another reason why you probably didn't hear from him as well, because of this child and all this drama he had to go through to find his child. Or he found out, because for some of you, they could have found out that they were a father, but they couldn't find the mother. So they had to search for this person. Like, yeah. So th there's so much things here that I feel like you just, you, you don't know about this person. So they're saying as well, like, you can't put your life on hold for someone like this. Not right now, anyway. We've got Chariot. Yeah, and we've got Justice here. I definitely feel like you guys might probably be getting some information that is just going to help you up and leave out this situation. We've got Temperance. We've got Virgo. We've got Libra Taurus. Yeah. Because even there, you know, like, even someone here could have been pregnant. This person's quite wild, all right? <laughs> yeah, but we've got ten of wands. I feel like you guys are done. You're over it, but you don't have that strength and that courage to take that foot out that door, you know? Maybe because you've been a parent to some of their, his kids. Maybe they've got some kids or whatever, and you're feeling guilty. But you've really got to go. You have a whole life to be getting on with. And the universe is giving you an opportunity here. Okay, so that you can go. For others of you, you left somewhere where you're from to come and be with this person and you found all this stuff out. All right, so there is an opportunity for you to go back home, they're saying. Like there is something, a job or there's something you can do that's going to get you back to where you want to be. Part two. New moon in Pisces. We've got calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring the two of you together. And we've got very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. And we've got retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Oh gosh. Stay optimistic about your love life, finances and career are affecting it. We've got new love and we've got getting to know each other. And we've got attraction and let go of control issues. So I definitely feel like soon this person's new person is going to be coming into you guys' life. But I have a feeling it's once you've gone where you wanted to go. Or maybe you just want to go home for a visit and sort things out. So that you can... Maybe it's obviously probably easier to apply from where you want to be. So, Alright, pile two, new moon in Pisces. Yes, we got the runner. <laughs> Date. Yeah, see, this just could have been a situation from the past and this person is coming back around and they're asking for commitment, but look, not showing true feelings. Gaslighting. Grim Reaper. This relationship is done. Yeah, look, see, they still have more options and things like that. But you guys are ascending past this. Yeah, look, Phoenix rising, as I say that. You're leaving this behind. So, yeah, guys, you might have been feeling stuck. Yeah, you might have been feeling stuck, but it's okay. Because there's a shift happening here, okay? You guys just needed to learn something. They needed you to kind of sit in this pain a little bit longer than the others, okay? Teach you a little bit of a harder lesson, all right? <clears throat> okay, pile two. 
New Moon in Pisces. Messages for File 2. We got the moon, powerful, intuitive epiphanies, letting go of worry and fear, understanding the truth of a situation. Manage your resources wisely, achieve a balance in how you spend and save money, help out those who are less fortunate. Be assertive when it comes to what you know is right, everything going your way, a good person or company to work for. And we've got wishes come true, dreams fulfilled, a magical time of life. Yeah, for a lot of you as well, you want to be reunited with family members. Like there's even a grandparent or an aunt here as well that you're really close to. Or some of you just really want to travel to this place to see them, you know. Because, yeah, I feel like they are your family. And maybe, you know what, a lot of you are just worried about them because you can't get there in time because of work, because of this relationship, you know. They're saying, look, it's okay. Do what you got to do. Everyone's good. Now focus on yourself. Part two. You mean in Pisces. Ask for help from others. Yeah. Ask for help from others. I definitely feel like you guys feel like you have to do everything on your own. And we've got no. Okay. And look for a sign because I feel like they are showing them to you. So be careful about entertaining this ex as well. Okay. Or current, we'll take it as it resonates. All right, guys, I hope you, and connect to the divine, okay? Meditation, pray, light your candles, take your, um, you know, your spiritual baths, whatever it is for you, okay? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, so now we're going to move on to pile three. So we've got grey, we've got learn to scan your body. All right, so let's have a look. <clears throat> Grey identifies blockages in your body or aura provided information about your mental, emotional and physical state. Use Grey to give you alternative point of view and provide you with strengthen, sorry, with strengthen, <laughs> with strength when dealing with challenges, situations that you feel hopeless. The Grey Ray is a magnifying glass to blocked areas in your body. Okay, so guys, maybe you're just feeling some pain in certain places and you're not really acknowledging it or you're just trying to say like, oh, I'm not trying to think about that right now. Um, or, but maybe there are also things that can be controlled, i.e. by your diet. Okay, I definitely feel like you guys are piling on too much sugar. So it's affecting your mental health as well. Okay, and you're gaining weight because of that. And that's an issue for you because you don't want to. That's what they're saying. Um, yeah, so they're saying, I don't know, feel around in your body when you're getting certain aches and pains and stuff. Like, they want you to kind of acknowledge it. Not Don't want you to be scared of it, okay? But they just want you to acknowledge it. All right, pile three. New moon in Pisces. New moon in Pisces, pile three. Work through your fears. We've got new moon in Scorpio. You know, even for some of you, you might be thinking about surgery or something like that and you're a little bit worried or whatever. Okay, I just, I think what they're saying is just have a scan through your body first. Make sure there's other adjustments that you probably could be making before, you know, whatever it is you decide to do. So they're saying tune into your body, scan your body. Work through your fears. You know, when it comes to your health as well. Because this could also be about addictions and things like that too, okay? All right, pile three. New moon in Pisces. Messages for pile three. We got belonging. Ooh. Hope, oh, got Pisces energy here. Differences, rigid, yeah, honesty, wow, okay. So yeah, straight off the bat, I definitely feel like you guys are dealing with a twin flame here, okay? And I feel like with this person, they're not really trying to admit, they're not going out of their way to admit how they really feel about you. 
And I think they still kind of feel like you should chase them in a way. But this person definitely belongs to another household. Maybe they're married, okay? Or they're just in this other relationship. All right, but you guys can't seem to get on the same page with each other. I think you're very similar, but at the same time, you're very different. You know, but you might handle conflict in the same way of just screaming at each other. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's hard for you guys to kind of get on the same page and find balance when you communicate. But there is a lot of hope here. Yeah, you've got cornucopia. You guys have been together before. You've, you've had magical, amazing times together. All right, that has really brightened up your life. There's growth here because of this connection. So even if this person hurt you and they belong somewhere else and all the rest of it, you're still like being able, sorry, you're still able to look back at the abundant times that you had with each other, okay? And the work that you guys have kind of already put into this connection is still there. Yeah, this is your twin. This, this is, this cornucopia has been built over lifetimes of lifetimes of lifetimes of you guys interacting with each other. Yeah, look, we've got door to personal happiness healing and we've got adjacent possibilities. So do you know what? I definitely think for you guys, a lot of doors are going to be opening for pile three. OK, I think you guys have been on your healing journey and I think that your connection is going to go through a healing journey as well. Um, it, I sense a little bit of sadness here, but I'm trying to tap into like. Is it, is it all yours? Is it, is it theirs? But I've, maybe you guys are just kind of mirroring each other. This person really doesn't like to see things um, from other perspectives or your perspective. And they almost have this thing of where they're not leaving their situation for whatever reason they're like, they can't. Okay, so we've got Nine of Wands, Page of Swords. Yeah, this person really has put a guard up. I think, no, I think you've put more put your guard up. This person is watching you, okay? And you've been taking a leap of faith in yourself, like with a business or your career or whatever, okay? Or you're just going out enjoying yourself. We've got Aries energy here. Yeah, I think you guys have really been releasing a lot of your baggage over the last 12 months. Yeah, I think you guys have just been enjoying yourself. You have a very youthful spirit. So I feel like this person's sort of noticed that. Yeah, as I say that. See, you guys are just, look, partying, enjoying yourself, having a good time. And this person's just kind of watching you, probably keeping tabs on you, okay? We've got three of pentacles, six of pentacles. This person wants to give into this relationship, but I feel like they've got, they can't. Yeah, because they feel like it's the two of cups for them. So this is like a dream come true type of connection, like a bond that kind of can't be broken. They feel that way, but you know, it's, I think it's more money as to why they're stuck in their situ current situation. It's tied up in finances. Yeah, we've got the emperor. And also this person doesn't want to lose out on things that they've built or paid for or whatever. So it's kind of like this person, <laughs> thinks the way they think, you know? They're at battle with themselves most of the time when they think about their life and then they think about you. Yeah, we've got three of ones. This person just really just does watch you a lot. And I feel like they get a lot of communication about you. Like, oh, you've been seen here, you've been seen there, or they heard you was with this person, that person, or whatever. But they don't know what to believe. At the end of the day, they don't know anything. Yeah, we've got lovers. But they look, again, this person's just watching you. <laughs> All right, they want to know, who are you loving? Got Gemini energy here. Okay, this person definitely is curious. Ooh. Yeah, but we've got Death, we've got Scorpio here. And we've got Nine of Pentacles. And we've got Knight of Cups. You know, for some of you, this person will go through an ending in their current situation and they're going to come to you single and try and take you out and date you and all the rest of it. I just don't know how much of this you've walked away from with them, but you do kind of want them to come back and romance you a little bit. We've got Cancer Energy Chariot here. A lot of you guys are either going to decide to move on really quickly or just be into them really quickly. Like the connection will just take off again and I don't know, you might be going round in circles, but... 
I'm pretty sure you're gonna pull yourself out a lot quicker this time, even if that does happen, okay? You can't beat yourself up, but you know. You want what you want. All right, pile three. New moon in Pisces. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And that's what I was saying before with this person. It's something to do with finances. This, I feel like the other person is controlling the purse strings, purse strings right now. Okay, there's things there going on that you don't know about. We've got unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So they're really only in it because of that situation. You're also feeling like, I'm kind of mm, over this, you know. Like, I don't think I can entertain this anymore. Like, I'm good. Yeah, deception. Because this person's wearing a mask. They really want to tell you they love you, but they can't because they don't see no way out of their current situation. And here comes new love. And let your friends help you. So, yeah, you guys are moving on. All right. But they want you to work through your fears. Because I think some of you are worried that, you know, you're not going to find a relationship or you're not going to be in a relationship or... You're running away from a relationship with this new person coming in, okay? Because you still got the other one lingering, but you got this new energy coming in. So they're saying, look, work through your fears. Take it one day at a time, okay? Things don't feel right. Look, we've got romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And it's safe for you to love. And we've got true love. So yeah, someone really is coming in. And I think this is a gentle soul, okay? Or they're gentle, they're gentle with you. I think that's what it is. They're more just sort of gentle with you. All right, pile three. The situation, ooh, the situation will improve. So some of you guys are having some little health issues or health concerns right now, or you're not feeling well, okay? Def definitely down here, because look, we're sort of holding down there, okay? They're saying this situation is gonna improve. All right, so meditate with that gray light. Okay, for a lot of you, if you're oh it's been a year since your surgery okay they're saying yeah you should go for a scan have that checkup okay if there's any pain there it's okay it's going to improve all right but they need to look at it right we've got yes so keep moving forward work through your fears you're going in the right direction okay pile three i hope you enjoyed that reading like comment share and subscribe or you can follow me on instagram and book me for a personal reading as well all right guys take care bye Okay, so, pile four, what you got? Whole lot of, you got magenta, let's see. So we've got connect to your deepest inner knowing. You guys could be seeing 555 five, five a lot, okay. All right, magenta is the color of your deepest inner knowing, inspiring truth, clarity, and faith. Magenta also awakens your enthusiasm for life, connecting you to the higher realm of spirituality and assisting you with your journey of self-discovery. Meditate on magenta to connect to your deeper wisdom. Wow. Yes. You know, as well, I feel like someone's going to be putting, showing some faith in you, right? Whatever it is that you're doing, someone's going to be believing in you very soon. I think that you think that no one will or... I don't know, pile four, you feel like you're not really getting anywhere, okay? I'm definitely seeing someone recognizing who the hell you are very soon, pile four. Okay. Yeah, a new start is coming. Mm-hmm. You go, pile four. So don't worry, okay? They, they need you to go back to the, you know, I feel like with you guys, Pile 4, you have big dreams and you got a big mouth, you know. So it's a bit like, well, I'm going to have a Porsche by December 2022. These times, you probably got a thousand pounds in your bank account. And everyone's like, mm. but it's that inner knowing that you have, you know. It's, it's that resolve inside your head that's saying, I'm going to get it. And even if I'm putting extreme deadlines on these things, okay, I still know I'm going to get it. I think you guys have lost. Some of that drive okay so this is like this color is like come on connect to your inner knowing we need that passion back okay 
we need that person back and we've got a new start is coming and we've got a new moon and guess what what is today a new moon i know so power four this is going to be a beautiful reading for you and again you know what remember what i said at the beginning of this reading i see five 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 is a new beginnings all right power four New moon in Pisces messages. Oh, yes, we got understanding. Yeah, and letting go. But you know what it is as well. I think that you are releasing some burdens, okay, that you've been carrying around with you. And I think it's more about how you feel internally about yourself and what you want to prove to yourself as well. So I think it's almost like you get to have that aha moment to yourself, you know. And then you kind of get to share and then you kind of let it go because I don't think this really was about proving anything to anybody else. I feel like this was more about you proving it to yourself. And so you're going to get that moment. Yeah. Why? Because you've been focused. You've been focused. You didn't really rely on anyone to do this. OK, you just had to go get it. All right. Yeah. This is almost forbidden. That's what I mean with you guys, pal for It's it's. It's like you always go for something that's very niche. So you don't know if you could make money. You don't know, you know, the outcome, but you're going to go for it anyway. All right. You guys are innovators. You're inventors. You guys are super creative. And so we've got some lust here. OK, and we've got honesty. So maybe some of you guys have just sort of been having casual relationships. OK, for the simple fact that you you want to be forbidden to people because you have this ambition and drive to get to where you want to go. So you almost want to feel like as if you're off limits to them, like you don't want them to get too close to you. OK, but you're there for the lust. But then you just kind of check out. OK, because it's almost like, yeah, chaos. You don't want other people's drama to now come and be your drama. All right. But we look like we've got that drama coming in anyway now, guys. Prepare yourself. We've got Capricorn energy here as well. Yeah. And I think you guys have just been holding your heart and taking care of it. It's almost like you guys have been protecting your heart. OK, and I think you just release any expectations that men or women, whoever you are, OK, uh, whatever they have on you, you just release that to the universe. You're like, if I don't expect nothing, I can't be disappointed. OK. <laughs> All right, pile four, new moon in Pisces, messages for pile four. Got Queen of Swords, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, so you're very much, you know, you're just not taking any rubbish, okay? And anyone who sends you messages that you feel are either just going to play with your time or your energy or anything like that, you're just like, no, okay, bye. Ooh. Yeah, we've got 10 of wands and we've got the four, we've got Aries energy here, we've got two of cups. I definitely feel like you guys want this beautiful connection eventually, you know, but I think you've just gone into this strong superwoman mode for so long that you almost don't know how to come out of it. <laughs> you do everything by yourself, for yourself, and you help other people too. You don't complain about your problems. You don't let people know that you're going through something or that you're broken hearted, okay? A lot of you guys have recently got into dance, okay? And you've really been enjoying it or you're about to, okay? You guys are going to be really good at that as well. For some of you, you've got a, a child, a teenager or an older child. They've got some amazing news coming in for you. Well, for them, but, you know, it's your child, so for you too. <laughs> and you guys are going to be celebrating together, Yes. You know what? And then there's this masculine here. We've got a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I just think this person, you look at them a little different and they look at you a little different. And I think you, you're sort of changing how, how you should sort of start relationships with people. Maybe you don't just jump all in and, you know, let them do it. You know what I mean? And you take a step back, okay, and just pause and sort of have this self-reflection and see... You know, if this relationship is good or feels good for you. Right, we've got Scorpio energy. We've got uh, the tower here. Wow, this is amazing. We've got temperance. We've got Sagittarius. I, ooh, okay, six of cups, four of wands. Anyway, I was going to say, I definitely feel like someone's coming back to tell you the truth on how they feel about you, how they feel about the connection. 
But like I said, there's someone else here. Yeah, see, we've got this Capricorn devil energy. It's like, come back, come back. But you see, this is the thing. You're kind of seeing a different side of a relationship here. And you're, it's making you interested, you know. And this is with someone else. Yeah, I think you'd kind of decided to, like, leave that situation in the dust. Because you left in pain. And you've got this new beginning. I feel like you guys have really had a glow up lately. And you've created a world that is almost like a dream world, you know. It's like... Or you, you were the, the, the front seat driver to create this new world that you have, okay? Maybe it's with new friends. Maybe you've even found some new family members or you're tracing family members I'm hearing. It's just this whole world that you're creating for yourself and no one else can really have an opinion about it because you're happy. Yeah, we've got three of pentacles. We've got the emperor. Yeah, we've got knight of cups. So yeah, you've got someone who just like, you know what? I know what I want. They want to date you. They want to romance you. They think you're beautiful. Yeah, look, star. They think you're their wish fulfillment. You know, and look, we got Wheel of Fortune. You're going to be on top of the world soon. This person's going to make you feel good. Okay, and, I, and what I hear about this person is they consistent. Okay. They are consistent. And they're happy for you to not give everything. You know, they're happy to just... They almost want you to fall in love with them. So they, they're serious about wooing you, it's for a reason. It's, they're not just trying to get you into bed, they're trying to get you for a very long time or forever. <laughs> so there's a longer game that men play, if they're smart, <laughs> this one is. So yeah, and you'll know. Okay, pile four. Messages for pile four. Ooh. High Priestess, what I say, you know. You guys are very spiritual, very intuitive, okay? Trust in your intuition, careful reflection before taking action, insights that come through meditation. So remember what we said as well, guys? You're able to pause, take a step back, look around you, check in with yourself, all right? Make sure, am I getting carried away because I'm going on nice dates? Am I getting carried away because it is good? Or you know what I mean? Or am I getting carried away because, wow, we're clicking, we're compatible, like, what is this? Okay. And we've got let go of people or things that no longer serve you. Now is the time to focus on your career, unmarried or divorced individuals. I love it. And we've got Leo energy here. Take everyone's input into consideration. Merge viewpoints to create a better solution. Take your time. There's no need to rush. Yeah, so this person that you're dealing with now is single, not like the others, okay? Reach out to others for comfort and love. You will grow stronger from this situation. Sadness that will heal in time. And then we've got do more research before proceeding. Education in the form of seminars, going back to school or apprenticeships, excellent craftsmanships and long-term projects. All right, so there's definitely this massive expansion. Okay, there's like a new team of people. I don't think they're managing you, but they're managing their stuff and... Are you joining it or affiliated with them in some way? All right, so they, they're gonna have a few opinions about how you currently do things. They're not trying to change you. They're trying to make shit work for the both of you, okay? But I can't explain it. They're not trying to change you, that's all I can say. But you might feel, you know, be do what you're comfortable with. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. Okay. A gift of passion, opportunity and inspiration. A chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt or worry to your angels. Wow. How for you guys are good. Okay, so you guys turn your frowns upside down. All right, pile four. We've got let go. Stop trying to control it and live in the moment, okay? And we've got no. <laughs> no. Don't give up, okay, guys? Because they're saying, like, literally, in the very, very near, 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 near future, this is happening, Okay. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can also contact me for a personal reading. Take care, and I'll see you soon. And, uh, you know, thank you to all my new subscribers as well. I love you so much. Bye.